Hey all, I wanted to give you a brief video, hopefully no more than three minutes, explaining to you um, how we navigate our Schoology course here. So if you're watching this video, you either found it on my YouTube channel or you've at least made it to our course to get to our welcome folder. In that welcome folder right below navigating our Schoology page here, this video is going to show up. Uh, you'll notice that below that folder, we have all of our chapters. It's just sorted chronologically. We have 14 chapters that we're going to try to progress through this summer and uh, make it all the way through there and you might think that's a lot to do, especially when we only have six, maybe a maximum of eight weeks. But that's okay because these first four chapters should be the same thing you just ended your math eight year with. So those first four chapters you have the ability to test out of, and this is something that you'll become more familiar with in high school and college. Uh, when you've already learned content, there's no sense in you relearning it again. So we just want you to show that you actually know it. So if you would like to test out of these chapters, my advice would be to click into the chapters, and review the material that I have posted here. So especially when I just uh, can look at the key concepts, state standards, and brief overview, if you remember everything that the key concepts say, if you say, oh, I remember how to do all that. If this, the standard here, and it sometimes they're written a little complicated, but a lot of times you can pretty well make sense of what's going on. And then I've got some pictures here to help you remember um, this is what we're actually doing. So I would look through every section for each of these chapters, one through four, and uh, see if you remember all that material. Once you uh, either work beyond those or test out of those chapters, uh, and we get into the new material, so let's say you go into chapter five, our new material. Notice I still, in each of these, have the key concepts, the state standards, and the brief overview. The key concepts comes from the publisher. That's the uh, their goals for that section, uh, essentially. The state standards are exactly what the state is expecting you to learn. So CC means Common Core. Um, SSE has its own coding for what that means. Um, so if you're interested in how the standards are broken up, I can show you a pretty cool document that compares our standards uh, in each class. And then the brief overview is what I've written. And then I've uh, got some images either off the internet or things that I've created that help you kind of understand what's going on. So a negative exponent here. Zero exponents are pretty simple, so that's why there's no picture for the zero exponents. But a negative exponent, the first thing that we learn about that is to turn a negative exponent into a positive. We flip the value to its reciprocal and any uh, exponent that was a negative now can become positive. Notice that the whole time I'm moving around in here I have the little hand popping up because I can click anywhere in there and it's going to take me into the folder for 5.1. In the folder for 5.1 you see the notes are normally the first thing posted. That is a PDF file that you can either view and um, manipulate from your tablet or computer if you have a software where you can write on top of a PDF. Um, you are more than allowed to do that. If I want to go back to where I just was, up here you see that we have little sections. I can go all the way back to my beginning course. I can go back to uh, beginning of chapter 5, or I can go back to the 5.1 folder. So I want to go back to the 5.1 folder. I have a chalk talk then posted. So every section is going to have a chalk talk accompanied with it. Most of the time, they're only 10 to 15 minutes long. Our internet at school right now is very slow because everybody is on a Chromebook, so I doubt that my video will load right now. But these videos are embedded into our Schoology page, so you should not need to leave Schoology to view them. Um, also, another thing is I track what you do or do not do, what you click on, everything that you do, I see uh, metrics on what you've done. So please view the videos through Schoology so I can actually see that you have viewed them. And then the homework, if you choose to do paper homework, that is posted here. And then I will also be incorporating more online homeworks, um, not digits, do not freak out yet. I have a software where I am able to make my own digital homeworks and they will be incorporated into Schoology. So you will be in Schoology doing your homework. Most of everything that we do, you're going to be doing in Schoology. Um, aside from that, notice that over here on the left hand side, we, uh, you might not have all these options, but you'll have updates and you might be able to see your grades. Um, I've got attendance because I can see who was here when. So if I go to the updates page, I will occasionally post updates and I might have your page start on here. So the first update that I have posted here is about the fact that you can test out of those first four chapters. You can always comment on an update. You can like it. This is kind of like Facebook for schools. Um, so always make sure that you check back to those updates. Up here, the little uh, kind of looks like satellite tower. This is going to be your notifications area. So see, I have notifications that people have uh, replied to comments, people have submitted things for me. So when you log into Schoology, make sure that you check your notifications and see what's going on. If I've sent you a message, that will show up right here. And then if you have any friend requests or anything like that, any people trying to connect with you, that will show up in this pane. 
Uh, that is pretty much all that we need to cover for today. So if you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask me.